ओके सो सभी आ गए चलिए ऑनलाइन कब तक चल सकता है ऑनलाइन अब ये तो आपका तो सारा ही मान लो ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट तक तक है इसमें ये आवाज आवाज में डबल क्यों आ रही है किसी का किसी का वो ओपन होगा सर हाँ म्यूट करो सभी लोग थैंक यू सर टू यू आल्सो थैंक यू सर वन टू टू थ्री टेन ओके सो अभी जस्ट वेट फॉर थ्री मिनट और तैयारी कैसे चल रही है ओके सो अटेंडेंस तो ले ही लूंगा तब तक of your mic ओके तो ऋषिकेश ऋषिकेश नहीं है दिनेश सत्येंद्र सिंह माइक माइक ऑन करके माइक बंद है अभी सभी का यस सर बोलिए सत्येंद्र सिंह प्रेजेंट सर आरत सिंह विजय सैनी सर कृष्णकांत यस सर राहुल कुमार यस सर 
Yes, sir. ओके okay, काफी लोग अभी एबसेंट हैं देखते हैं बाद में जाने एक बार फिर से सुदेश ना आई थिंक यस सर सुदेश ना कम या मैं अरुणव कौन है जिसकी अटेंडेंस जिसने नहीं बोली है इसी के सत्येंद्र सिंह हर्ष यस सर हर्ष ओके हर्ष आ गया बैजंती एंड अरुणव ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट चलिए सभी अपना माइक ऑफ कर लीजिए विशाल विशाल माइक ओके सो I'm sharing my screen. My screen is visible to all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. ओके okay so uh, we have discussed about brittle coating technique or method <clears throat> so what is brittle coating method that uh, we have discussed the principle of uh, stress analysis in Involves the adherence of a thin coating, brittle in nature, on the surface of a specimen when a specimen is subjected to external load. Okay, so there is some, I mean, very thin layer of some brittle material. So we will put on the surface. Okay, so the thickness of the uh, thin coating is uh, approximately. Uh, what we have discussed? Anyone? Have you an idea? What is the thickness of uh, this coating, metal coating? So two hundred to two thousand microns. Uh, okay, point one to point two five mm something. 
Yes, sir. So, so a very thin uh, layer uh, we put on the surface. Okay, so and also uh, we have discussed the type of metal coating. Okay, also yes, we have discussed resin based ceramic based type of metal coating. Thickness is around uh, 0.1 to 0.25 mm. Okay, something like this. It varies uh, on the application also. So the types. Uh, uh, first one we discussed that uh, it is uh, based on that material. What is the material of the metal coating? Okay, so first one is resin based. Second one is ceramic based. And third one is tensely, tensely, and lac metal coating, tensely, or lac coat something. Okay. So, <clears throat> so we have already uh, already discussed that uh, what are the advantage or what are the disadvantage, how the sensitivity is uh, concerned about these materials. Okay, all these things we have discussed. And also uh, the advantages of uh, the metal coating method also we have discussed. Okay, some of the basic uh, advantages like whole field stress analysis we can do, and uh, at any point we can analyze the stresses or directly apply it to the prototype of the actual. Okay, so uh, there is no need to make a model. Okay, so directly we can apply it on the uh, prototype or uh, the actual. Uh, machine and then and this is the noted is just so so these are the one so the one this is the first one this and this one तो काफी ज्यादा होती है
now the court uh, what what is uh, after this uh, spring uh, courting uh, will for the bank okay so date courting drive uh, by two ways like first one is applying some trace suppose here sigma x uh, of the specimen so sigma x and specimen also in the direction okay and uh, the bi direction also sigma bi okay and uh, sigma bi t so this is the specimen so before applying this trace we put the uh, coating okay so suppose so the coating is like this okay suppose this red one is the coating red one is the coating so the coating stress is uh, the sigma x and uh, c and uh, here is sigma y c c for coating okay so these are the stresses in the coating now these are the stresses in coating <coughs> so uh, this is the uh, model and then we have to uh, think about the strength this is the interference um, the inter interface between the coating and this is coating red one is coating okay so coating and specimen so the this is the uh, this is the interface between the coating and so we have to write the stress state of stress at the uh, interface suppose in a specimen if we talk about the specimen so suppose the strain strain in the specimen strain in the specimen at the interface at the interface at the interface a b c d suppose this is a b c 
ABCD and D. Okay, so the upper uh, four corners are ABCD. So, uh, what is the strain at the SP cement? So, the strain formula in X direction and S for strain equal to sigma X steel specimen sorry upon ES minus mu S sigma by specimen upon E specimen. So this is in the direction of uh, X and likewise the direction of Y sigma Y upon E S minus mu S sigma x upon yes okay so this uh, this is the strain in the specimen now strain in the coating strain in the coating strain in the coating <coughs> अगर स्क्रीन चली जाए या कुछ ऐसा हो तो बस लेट में ना ओके सो स्ट्रेन इन द कोटिंग एप्लॉन एक्स एंड सी सी फॉर द कोटिंग एंड इन द एक्स डायरेक्शन द स्ट्रेन वी कैन राइट दिस माइनस यू सी अब आई सी कॉन एक्सी and uh, the same way in the bi-direction. Okay, so these are the uh, strain in the, in the specimen and strain in the coating. Now, uh, some assumption we are assuming here we are assuming here if the perfect adhesion is there, if the coating is perfectly adhered to the specimen, then we can assume assume assuming perfect adhesion between specimen and specimen and coating specimen and coating okay so what happened so at that time if if we are assuming that at the interface uh, perfectly adhesion is there that means a strain in the specimen is equal to strain in the coating okay so in x direction Strain in x direction, epsilon x specimen equal to epsilon x coating. Likewise, in the y direction, epsilon y specimen equal to epsilon y coating. Okay, so just we put equal and we see how the relations is there so sigma x c upon e c minus mu c sigma y c upon e c equal to sigma x on s minus mu s sigma y s upon e s Okay, so first equation is this, and the second equation for the y, sigma y c upon e c minus mu c sigma x c upon e c equal to sigma x sorry sigma y. Sigma y s upon e s minus u s sigma y x. Okay, so now uh, 
by solving equation one and two, we will get something. Simplify by Tom. Equation Okay. So sigma x is uh, nothing but uh, you can calculate with the help of Hooke's uh, law. Now, uh, uh, this is in the specimen. Suppose uh, you are doing some uh, tensile test. Okay, so sigma x, you can say, sigma x you are applying. Okay, so uh, this is sigma y, suppose. It's uh, orient uh, that point. Okay, so uh, in the initial direction. Now, what happened? Uh, what happened in the crack means um, in the coating? Uh, because uh, the coating just initiated, uh, the crack is just initiated in the coating when 
there is some value of uh, stress in the specimen. Okay, means some uh, some value of uh, stress in the specimen is responsible to initiate the crack in the coating. Okay, so that is the threshold value. So suppose if if strain in the specimen is equal to a specimen star. Specimen star. Specimen star is what? This is nothing but the threshold strain. This is threshold threshold strain. This is threshold strain. And uh, what is the definition of this th threshold strain? Is uh, it is the that is the minimum minimum strain minimum strain in the specimen minimum strain in the specimen in the specimen to to crack the coating to crack the coating okay so uh, the minimum strain in the specimen, okay, minimum strain in the specimen to crack the coating. Just uh, the, appear, uh, the appearing of the crack is uh, uh, denoted by the threshold uh, strain, okay. So if the crack is there, that means the threshold strain in the specimen is acidic, okay. So uh, this is the minimum strain. Now, uh, so you can put this into the uh, previous formulations also. Okay. So now, uh, if we analyze the how the stresses in the specimen uh, are calculated with the help of coating stresses. Okay. So with the help of some failure theories, you can use. Okay. So the failure theories for brittle material. Uh, which method, uh, which failure theory is used for battle material? Rankine. Rankine. Maximum principle or Rankine? Maximum principle stress theorem. Principle stress theorem. Okay, but uh, the most uh, most suitable or uh, you can apply for any battle material. Okay. Uh, there is some limitations in the uh, principal strain theory also, okay. So for brittle materials, for brittle materials, Mohr theory is used. For brittle materials, uh, failure theory. Okay. So in the failure theory, Mohr theory is the ideal choice the ideal choice for battle coating okay anyone know about the mohar theory in machine design what is that theory Anyone? Okay, leave it. So the Mohr theory is nothing but uh, suppose uh, if the both uh, stresses are in tensile nature, okay, you are applying some stresses in the tensile nature, okay, so the single stress is there uh, in unidirectional case. So it is something uh, like similar to the principal stress theory, okay, uh, but uh, uh, generally, the principal stress theory is uh, used uh, up to the yield strength. Okay, so in yield strength, you can apply. Okay, but in battle case, generally the ultimate tensile strength uh, is used. Okay, so the breaking point is at the ultimate tensile strength. Okay, so in Mohr theory is similar to the Rankine theory. Okay, in some cases, but uh, in some cases, uh, the Mohr theory will give you the more ideal or more accurate results, okay, that different when the stresses are in the 
from opposite nature that uh, one is in compression one is in tensile okay something like this okay if the uh, tensile nature is there then almost both the theory give you the um, uh, same result okay so some formulations also there okay so uh, in the mohr theory what is uh, this or you can go for uh, mohr theory in uh, the book okay so you can refer that norton book okay machine design <coughs> by norton okay so he explained uh, very well that mohr theory for the brittle material now uh, but uh, not in detail uh, but uh, we are focusing on how to solve this uh, brittle coating method okay by mohr theory so the following cases following cases are considered following cases are considered for predicting for predicting the failure for predicting the failure of brittle coating of brittle coating okay so uh, these are number 1 if uh, sigma x c greater than equal to sigma y c greater than equal to 0 means both the stresses are positive positive means both stresses are of tensile nature second case this is case 1 okay case 1 case 2 Case two is sigma x c is greater than uh, zero, uh, but sigma y c is less than zero. Means one tensile and other compressive. And third case. third case both are compressive both compressive okay so these are some uh, cases uh, in the brittle uh, coating uh, analysis but brittle coating method generally uh, good for uh, tensile stresses also okay so the first case is the means uh, mainly used okay but other cases also we can use okay uh, so first uh, we discuss the first case case 1 okay so in case 1 uh, the tensile stresses is there okay so in tensile stresses and unidirectional uh, tensile stresses so what is the mohr theory okay so mohr theory mohr theory like a principal stress okay what is that so suppose sigma x for uh, sigma x for coating should be uh, greater than or equal to ultimate tensile strength of the coating something like this okay on the factor of safety is there means uh, if uh, in this condition okay the material uh, the coating is there okay the cracks will be there okay if the sigma x c is greater than the ultimate greater than or equal to the ultimate uh, tensile strength of the coating okay or you can write this uh, sigma x c upon sigma ultimate c greater than or equal to 1 okay so this is nothing but ultimate tensile strength of the coating okay so according to this uh, now calculate uh, means put all the uh, sigma x c and sigma 
my UTC in the specimen. Okay, so what happened now? So now sigma x c, the formula of sigma x c is E c upon E s one minus mu c square that already we have derived one minus mu c mu s sigma x s plus mu c mu s sigma by s and uh, ultimate tensile strength formula okay according to this so this uh, in ultimate tensile strength we will do on uh, on the simple tensile testing and on the utm okay so in the utm so sigma by is zero okay in that case so your so this formula is uh, ec upon es 1 minus mu c square and 1 minus mu c mu s sigma x star okay and sigma y term is zero so and sigma x s yes sigma x s equal to sigma x star and this is the minimum stress this is the minimum stress to initiate the crack sigma x star is the is the minimum stress in the specimen to crack to crack the coating to crack the coating okay and sigma y is zero because this is for the in axial tensile testing this is strength is calculated by the in axial testing in axial testing okay so these are the two formulations now you can put in the mohr theory sigma xc divided by sigma uc c okay so just divide these two equations so you will get <coughs> so now sigma xc divided by sigma utc equal to so what is this now this is cancelled out and uh, you will get here only sigma x s divided by sigma x star plus mu c minus mu s divided by 1 minus mu c mu s sigma by s upon sigma x star and that should be greater than or equal to 1 okay so just i am putting in the uh, mohr theory okay so now with the help of this the help of this equation is sigma x star is known as known sigma x s sigma by s can be evaluated okay so uh, sigma x star is known how this uh, stress is known sigma x star this is the minimum stress in the specimen to crack the coating okay so uh, aapko kya karna hai coating mein jaise crack aate hain theek hai to just pehle aap calibrate karoge theek hai you are doing some calibration 
ओके सो वेन द क्रैक इज इनिशिएटेड है ना जब आप देखेंगे क्रैक दिखने लगे उस टाइम पे आपने स्पेसिंग एंड पे कितना स्ट्रेस लगाया था ठीक है एक एंटी लेबर बीम पे आपको टेस्ट करना है कितना आपने स्ट्रेस लगाया था तो आपको पता चल जाएगा कि कोटिंग कितनी स्ट्रेस पे ब्रेक होती है ओके सो सीमा एक्स स्टार इज नॉन है ना जिस जिस पर कोटिंग क्रैक हो गई जिस स्पेसिंग एंड के स्ट्रेस पर वही आपका स्टार आ रहा है ठीक है तो एक बार आप कैलिब्रेट कर लिए उस पर्टिकुलर कोटिंग के लिए अब वो कोटिंग आप किसी भी स्टेशन पर लगाते रहो आपको सिग्मा एक्स स्टार पता है लेकिन पहले आपको इस सेलिब्रेशन करना पड़ेगा कोई एक एंटीलेवर नहीं लेके उस पर कोटिंग करके पहले देखना पड़ेगा कि ये कितने स्पेसमैन के स्ट्रेस पर क्रैक आते हैं ठीक है जैसे वो आते हैं तो आप इस इक्वेशन में पुट करेंगे तो सिग्मा एक्स सिग्मा बाय में आपके एक रिलेशन बच जाएगा फिर दूसरी बार आप बाय डायरेक्शन में कर लेना तो फिर से एक सिग्मा एक सिग्मा बाय में रिलेशन बन जाएगा तो उसको सोल्व करके या आप एक इक्वेशन है दो अनोन है कोई न्यूमेरिकल मेथड लगा के आप इसको सोल्व कर सकते हो नाउ द केस इज सेकेंड केस एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस नाउ इन सेकेंड केस इन सेकेंड केस वॉट एपन वन इज टेंसाइल नेचर अदर वन इज एन कंप्रेसिव नेचर ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू मोहस थ्योरी मोहस थ्योरी स्टेटमेंट इज सिग्मा एक्स सी अपॉन सिग्मा अल्टीमेट ऑफ सी माइनस सिग्मा बाय सी अपॉन सिग्मा यू सी शुड बी ग्रेटर देन वन ओके एंड दिस दिस इज नथिंग बट अल्टी अल्टीमेट अल्टीमेट कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ ओके दिस इज कंट्रल स्ट्रेंथ दिस इज कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ एंड द रिलेशन इज देयर एंड बोथ द टू केसेस तो सिग्मा यू सी इक्वल टू के सिग्मा यू टी ओके सो दिस इज द रिलेशन यू कैन यू कैन यू कैन रिप्लेस सिग्मा यू सी सी बाई के सिग्मा यू टी सी ओके सो दिस इज द केस नाउ यू कैन पुट ऑल द सपोज दिस इज द इक्वेशन दिस इज योर फाइनल इक्वेशन the mohr theory and one is compressive one is tensile nature uh, so suppose this is equation a okay equation a <coughs> now ओके, सो इक्वेशन ए इक्वेशन ए सिंप्लीफाइड मीन्स इज सिंप्लीफाइड तो है ही इसको कॉम्प्लिकेटेड करते हैं बट सिंप्लीफाइड इन टर्म्स ऑफ अदर स्टेसेस सिंप्लीफाइड सिंप्लीफाइड एज by putting values of sigma x c sigma y c sigma u t c sigma u c c okay so all these stresses if you put for uh, in the equation a so you will get something like Simplified version. I'm writing here. One minus one by k mu c minus mu s upon one minus mu c mu s sigma x s 
upon sigma x star star term is coming in the ultimate tensile strength uh, formula okay plus mu c minus mu s upon 1 minus mu c mu s minus 1 y k sigma y s upon sigma y star and that should be greater than 1 okay so here again uh, poisson's ratio of coating poisson's ratio of specimen and uh, sigma x star sigma by star these are known okay so unknown means sigma x s sigma by s these two are unknown here also okay and now so you can evaluate and the k k is the uh, conversion factor okay that is the constant okay so the case third is case third in case third both are both are in compressive nature so both are in compressive nature means just uh, like a simple uh, rank kind theory but the sign is negative and you can put a uh, this okay you can put like this so in compression so compression theory is there okay and negative sign is there sigma x c you can replace by this sigma c upon k sigma u t greater than equal to 1 okay. because uh, com in compression uh, strength is k times of the tensile strength okay so this is simple now you can put sigma x s upon sigma x star plus mu c minus mu s upon 1 minus mu c mu s sigma y sigma x star should be greater than equal to k okay not one greater than equal to k so sigma x s sigma by s can be evaluated okay so this is the uh, stress analysis and uh, we will do some numericals on based on these analysis Okay, so if you have any doubt, oh, then you can ask. Otherwise, we can close this lecture here. Sir, your case third, what is it? One more time, please. Case third is just like case one. Only the tensile nature is replaced by compressive nature. Okay, so the first formula this is. This is the first formula. I have written here with the negative sign. Okay, with the negative sign, but. Sigma U T ten ultimate tensile strength is not there. Ultimate com compressive strength is there. Okay. So in the second step, I replace compressive ultimate compressive strength in terms of ultimate tensile strength, and then the same formulation is there. Okay. Yes, sir. The question is Sigma X star in the last one. Sigma X star in the last one, sir. Question. हाँ स्क्रीन शॉट ले सकते हैं क्या इसका हाँ ये मैं आपको इसका पी डी एफ बना के अपलोड कर दूंगा यस सर गूगल क्लास पे अपलोड कर देता हूँ सर सर वो डीआईसी की पीडीएफ भी अपलोड कर दीजिएगा सर दिनेश एक मिनट मैं फिर से बोल देता हूँ कोई रहा हो तो बता देना आ, मेरे पास जो एबसेंट लिखे हैं वो है ऋषिकेश और सत्येंद्र सिंह एबसेंट लिखा है प्रेजेंट है सर प्रेजेंट है ओके सोनी तो एबसेंट है ही हां 
और बेजंती एबसेंट है और अनु अनुभव सॉरी अरुणव भी एबसेंट है ठीक है बैजंती अरुणव अतेंद्र और इसी के सर थैंक यू सर